If I could think of one word, just one word that would take a grown man and turn him into a child again, that word would be rockets. Welcome back, my fellow duplicants, to Oxygen Not Included. This is the Rocketry Upgrade Preview, and this update is an absolute doozy. So the Rocketry Upgrade here introduces a new tier of gameplay to the game, so we have more tech that we need to research, and we're going to unlock the ability to have astronauts, and these astronauts can jump into rockets, and these rockets can go out into space and collect stuff and bring it back to us. Ridiculous. Check this out. This is the star map, one of the new things in the game here. You can take a look, and you can see, oh, we've got a carbon asteroid that we can go to, metallic asteroid, rocketry asteroid, ice planet ooh, or we have organic mass way out there and you can see there's some status over here we got different rockets i actually have two of them in my base and different things as such as the mass distance what you're going to get from that planet and yeah there's some interesting things there so not only do we have rockets we have a couple of new pieces of equipment that are absolutely awesome so we've been storing things in big boxes for a very, very long time now, or maybe we made a super compressor and kind of cheated the game a little bit to compress it down to smaller locations. Well, now we have many more options. We have a gas bottler and a bottle emptier as well. With that, we also have the ability to make oxalite using a piece of equipment. It consumes a little bit of gold in this current build of the game, just a little really a little bit but the point is it takes that oxygen inlet from a gas pipe and makes it into little oxalite chunks pretty cool we also have a couple new reservoirs that we can put in line with things like gas pipes and liquid pipes so there's a liquid reservoir and a gas reservoir so the liquid reservoir holds five tons and then the gas reservoir holds a maximum of 150 so it's not like a big com it's not like a compressor but what it is is it's an inline buffer for a lot of our systems, so that's really gonna be handy. There's also some new elements, such as fossil, so that's new, and we can turn that into lime, so we don't just have to rely on eggshells anymore. And there's also one other change that's going to really impact a lot of our games, and that is the natural gas production. So for example, if I fill this with crude oil, and then I start to heat it, watch what happens. Just make that a little bit bigger, there we go. Crank the temperature up of this on this crude oil. You can see I'm at 428 degrees Celsius. It ch it changed into petroleum. So if we keep heating the petroleum using our little heat gun tool, watch what happens. All right, so it's turned into a gas, but this is something different now. This is sour gas. It used to turn into natural gas. So this has a very big impact on those of us that would be using crude oil or petroleum onto lava or volcanoes to make natural gas and use that for power. This is now sour gas. So when sour gas cools down, it will turn back into naphtha. So I don't know if we really have much of a use for naphtha at this point. All right, so with that out of the way, let's get to the really, really interesting bits. So I built over here a enormous silo. Yes, to house my amazing rocket. Check it out, this thing is pretty dope. Now this rocket has several modular pieces that can be built onto it. So obviously we have the engines down here because that's going to thrust, you know, you into space. So is what I'm hoping to see. On top of that, you have a liquid fuel tank. So we gotta be able to fill that up with a lot of petroleum. On top of that is kind of your basic cargo bay. But then we have some specialty pieces, which is like liquid cargo bay, gas, or the special cargo where you can kind of bring some unique things from different planets or asteroids or whatever and bring it back to your base. So it doesn't necessarily take as much power to get from, you know, to this near one as far as much as it does to get way out here. And you can see your kind of your different rewards. So you'll get some refined carbon, some coal, some diamond. Go a little bit further, you might get a smooth hatch and some iron, some so refined metals there. Go further yet. And you can get to the ice planet, so you can bring back some things that are really, really cold. Methane. Ooh, that'd be really useful for power. You can get like a wheeze wart, some sleet weeds. A lot of really nice things. If you can make it all the way out there to the organic mass, you can end up with some really nice stuff, such as slime, polluted water, 
algae, carbon dioxide, polluted oxygen, or you can even end up with a critter, the new one, which is the gassy moo or the gas grass seed. And in case you're wondering what that critter is, I have one over here. Look at how happy he is. Mm, yum, yum, yum. So what this little moo here is eating is uh, the gas grass. So the gas grass takes a whole lot of light to grow. That's why it's way up here near space. So you'll have to kind of figure out how to get light in there and whatnot. The byproduct of what the moo gives off is natural gas. So there's kind of some different methods to get natural gas as compared to how we were doing it previously. So yes, your ultimate goal is to go capture a space cow so that it can come back and fart in your base. Perfect. Oh, and in case you're wondering, yes, the steam turbines still block meteorites. I've also kind of noticed this one too. They let light through. What? These things are better than glass because they're indestructible. Oh, Bob, Bob, how'd you end up up here? Hey, get back down here with your spaceship. Okay, one of the new platforms here is this gantry and allows you to get to your spaceship. Check this out, you ready? Fail. Okay, Bob, get down here and fill up these. For whatever reason, these auto sweepers are not filling up my coal generators. Not sure if that's a new thing or not. Now this spaceship is cool and all. However, we need to train up some astronauts before we can launch it. Luckily, I have Bob, Bill, and Jebediah in my base here. So I can go ahead and throw them on the astronaut training center and get them ready to go. So looking at the jobs tab, check this out. After we get through the exosuit engineer and the tenured scientist, then they can finally become a cadet. In case you thought the game was hard enough already. Yeah, way harder now. So there goes Jebediah, he's, he's gonna have some fun there. What if I follow Cam on him? Ah, oh, darn it, he doesn't spin around. How long is Jebediah gonna be here? Oh, poor guy. Look at this guy, he's just, he's gonna be spinning forever. All right, since Jebediah is gonna be there for a while, let's take a look at the research and what it takes to actually get to this level. Well, you can now see we have heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and all that stuff. And above that, we can then get to the oxalite refinery. Above that, we get to industrial storage. So look at that guy. We got liquid reservoir and all of those there. Celestial detection will now include the telescope and the astronaut training center. Basic rocketry is cargo bay, command module, the little gantry dudes, the engine, and the fuel tank. So that's a basic rocket like I just showed you at the very beginning of the video. And then you have the specialty modules after that. All right, so let's go ahead and say Jebediah has passed his, uh, his training and has become an astronaut. Now, if my Kerbal Space career was any indication... I'll have you know I'm a, an absolute professional when it comes to building and launching rockets. Now for some of you elders of this channel, you may remember the Kerbal Space Program. It's one of the most impressive campaigns that almost made it out of the atmosphere. Check that thing out, that was pretty cool. I mean, clearly. I know what I'm doing. Just add more engines. You guys got nothing to worry about. I mean seriously, look at that thing go. Oh wait a minute, I made it bigger. <laughs> Nothing to worry about, Jebediah. Let's jump on into this spaceship and see what happens here. Come on. Whoop. Oh, come on. What? Dude, don't fall asleep on me. By the way, did anybody else notice that the expectation for tier 8 is plus 30? <laughs> to give you a little bit more background on what's going on here, I have several pumps here that are running. That's going to evacuate the oxygen inside this base once we get ready to launch and it will store the extra gas down here in the reservoirs. For when the rocket goes to launch, I'm going to have a water cascade in there because that's what NASA did. And you know, the reason that they were doing that was for sound dampening. Thought I'd let you know. So clearly, I had to make one of those too. Down below this is the power grid that is run off of coal generators and then converts that into crude oil and the crude oil then gets made into petroleum, goes back up and you know, basically it stores it in the liquid reservoirs and then once the liquid shutoff valve is... You know what? I tell you what, let's just run through the process, huh? So I want to start 
fueling my rocket. So I'm gonna flip this switch over here. Turn it on. Okay, there we go. Now, petroleum is going to flow into the rocket. Should you be in an exosuit? Probably. That'd probably be a good idea. I'm not sure how that's going to work. <laughs> yeah. Let's not forget about the exosuits. Jeb, come back over here. All right, so while that thing is fueling up, we'll get some oxygen down here. All right, so inside of here, I have 90 kilograms. Oh no, the gassy Moo is doing the Draco. Why well, you gotta go and be like that, Moo? No, yeah, no, 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 don't open it up. Don't, oh no, oh no. Well, we're gonna get the gas out of there one way or another. Okay, so I probably should have been doing this while I was fueling it, but I'm gonna set my pumps to get rid of all the oxygen inside of here, or a lot of it. I'm not gonna get rid of all of it. I could use the Oxalite Maker thing if I really wanted to compress it down to like Oxalite or something. That would be a good way of doing it. <laughs> but I've been setting this thing up all day, so I, I, I just wanna launch a rocket. I've yet to do that. Oh, crap. For whatever reason, these auto swoopers are not feeding the coal generators. Bob. 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 Come on, Bob. I know you can do it. I feel good. I feel great. I feel wonderful. Come on, Bob. Oh, Bob. Bob's not going to ever move over there. These duplicates. I, I try to set up this whole experience, and all they do is foil my plans. I mean, even the gas he moves in on the scheme. What are you doing? Why are you doing that? This windows tile is like... We'll just, we'll make sure that they stay protected. Okay, so let me go to my star map real quick here. I'm going to select on, let's just go to the carbon asteroid. So if I select the rocket I want to launch because, I mean, why not just, you can have multiples. Now you can see here, it has a fuel tank. Yes, the tank is full. Yes, destination is reachable. Destination is apparently unreachable and it doesn't have an astronaut. Got a weight penalty. All this crazy stuff. Hmm. Maybe the right idea to just go to this one is to kind of reduce it down a little bit. So I'll take the command module and we'll just make this a smaller unit. Yes. All we need is an astronaut. Jeb, you're up, buddy. What happened to your suit, buddy? Oh, I guess you got into the ast... Uh, I guess you're in the spaceship. Excellent. How are we doing on the gas? I, I think we're doing as, as good as we're gonna get. Let's prepare for launch. We're going to turn on the pumps for the dampening system. You can see the water is going out. Yes. We're going to turn off the gas system. We don't want those running. So this is just going to keep everything stored. Okay, so now all I'm going to do is wait for it to line up there. Well, actually, you know what? Forget it. Let's hit launch mission and see what happens. Oh, open doors, open doors. Oh, oh no, Jebediah. Hmm. And what's the temperature in here? Oh, it got hot. Look at how hot the t metal tile is now. 180 something degrees Celsius. Oh, and I didn't remove the signal switches. Oh man, my launch protocol is crap. But look at it, I even had it all sequenced up, darn it. Okay, so we're gonna try this one again. So here's what I'm going to do to make this a little bit better here. We're going to turn um, that on, get these pumps running sooner. And I'm going to disable the gas so that we clear some of that gas out of there. There we go, now I've got lots of power. Okay, Jebediah, this is gonna be attempt number two. I knew you shouldn't have skipped school. I mean, that's what happened last time. Don't ever skip school. Where, where? No, come over here, Jeb. Oh, he doesn't want to come back. He's afraid. Conquer your fear, Jeb. Conquer it. Oh, man. No, no, no. Come on over here, buddy. Would you stop? Stop doing this. All right, fine, Bob. It's up to you. Jeb's chickened out. And look at Bob. Bob doesn't look excited about this at all. Okay, so there we go. He's inside command module. Bob stayed in school a little bit longer and kind of understands exactly how this sequence should go. First, we got to make sure that there's no debris in the way. 
check. One very important step is that we need to make sure that the bunker doors are open. So we'll make sure to open those up. I've already vented about as much oxygen as we're going to get out of here. We have lots of liquid down there, so that's good. Destination is set. Just waiting for the doors. Wait a minute. Where, Bob, where'd you go? You're missing. What a cheater, dude. How'd you get out of here? Fine. Jeb, it's up. Come on, dude. Don't check it out this time. They don't want to get there by cheaty teleports. No. There's only one way to truly make your way to a spaceship, and that's using a transit tube system. Jebediah, I want you to move over here. You should be able to get there, buddy. Why can't... What's wrong with you? Oh, crap on the stick. Okay, after lots of convincing... Darn it. What's wrong now? Okay, okay, okay. Now we got it. After lots and lots of convincing... No, that's a... Okay. Jebediah, I know you can make it over here. At least go here. And you take the suit with the least amount of oxygen. Really, bud? He's just waiting for the bunker door to open. And then he's going to make his move. Here he goes. Dun, 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 dun. Well, okay, that works too, bud. And he's in. Let's launch this. Let's go for it. Launch mission. Yeah, look at the fire! Oh, I forgot to bring these things back. Oh, crap. All right, here we go. Let's launch this thing. Commencing countdown. The doors will open in sequence. And then another one. Yes. This actually went a lot faster when it's like, High speed. There we go. Yes, just like that. And we're ready for launch. Good luck and Godspeed, Jebediah. I definitely hit the launch button. Are you going to go, bud? Okay, launch mission again. Let's get a temperature reading before. Yeah, you can see things are nice and cold. You can do it, Jeb. Just, like, hit the, hit the button. Launch it up. Come on, Jeb. Man, he just refuses to cooperate now. Okay, fine. See ya, bud. I don't know what happened to your Atmos suit. Hey, get in the ship. Oh, come on, stop complaining. Just get in the ship, dude. Oh, watch out for the meteors, man. Better get going. Launch it up, dude. Just press go. No destination selected. Okay. Select. Go. Oh, yes, now we're talking. Boosh, look at that. And what happened? What happened? Jebediah! Oh, no. Okay, so this is like attempt five. Nobody said launching a rocket was going to be easy. All right, so everything is ready to go. I'll turn these off. Bob is going to jump into this one. Apparently. So we're going to turn the... There we go. I think we're all ready to go. Set the destination for Carbon Asteroid. And... Good luck, Bob. What? No! Oh, oh, no, no. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Did it not explode? Okay, so rocket status is now underway. So, while it is away, we're gonna close up the hatch. So that was a successful launch. <laughs> Bill's just standing here, waiting for his buddies to get back. Oh my gosh, everything got roasted. All right, so they might be coming back today. If we take a look at the star map, see time remaining, not a whole lot, and then a whole bunch. Uh, let's see what happens when if I, if I don't open up the door. Ready to land. Save game. <laughs> Jebediah, what are you doing up here? What? Oh, hey. So the spaceship just showed up. I thought I was going to see it come back in. Well, welcome back, guys. What do we have inside of here? Oh, we got 97.2 kilograms of refined carbon. 85 kilograms of coal. 
and 54 kilograms of diamond. I didn't use up all the petroleum, so really I just, I converted petroleum to some other resources. So what if I do this number? I just say all, uh-oh, uh-oh. You're too hot. There, it's all right, buddy, you survived. <laughs> How do I unload my rocket? <sighs> do I just put a storage compactor here? Yeah, all? <laughs> How does anybody unload this? Oh my gosh, it destroyed my automation wires as well. Help! Oh, buddy. What if I sweep this, huh? Would that do it? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> so there you have it. A preview to the new update that's going to be coming here. Two oxygen not included in the next two weeks. A lot of really lofty goals. I mean, being able to set up your own rocket ship and go in, into the star map. and I, That's pretty cool. That is absolutely awesome. I'm excited about it. And it's going to take a lot of effort to get this far in the game. But it seems rewarding. I mean, being able to blast off your rocket and whatnot. I mean, there's going to be, obviously, some more patches and some refinement of how everything's working here. And this is a very early build. But still, I like it. I like the way it's going. I'm impressed and I'm looking forward to it. Let's just launch this one more time, just for good measure. Yes. Open those doors up, yes. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this little episode. And if I've earned your subscription, then thank you so much for that. Have a great day guys, stay awesome, peace. Brothgar, out.